Guys, we have a brand new additional notice regarding the hacked items in Summoners. Well, I know you guys are gonna read it. You're gonna want me to read it to you. So let's get right into it. Let's read the additional notice and then let's discuss it afterwards, all right? So, once upon a time, there was an evil wizard named Comtuas. The evil wizard was hungry with power and needed to find slaves to work in the dungeons to farm his magical runes. So the evil wizard went to a village and gave them all toys to play with. But the toys were cursed. The evil wizard used the cursed toys to enslave all the people of the village into doing their bidding. The village people were forced to work day in and day out in the dungeons for magical runes because the evil wizard demanded it. Then some, vi some villagers found a flaw in the wizard's spell and exploited it freeing themselves and taking some of the wizard's power. So the wizard patched the flaw and pretended it never happened. And the villagers all went back to farming in the dungeons. The end. All right, guys. Anyway, that's it for... Oh, 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 oh. Wait, that wasn't it? That was... Okay, let's, let's read the actual abnormal game. And just show notice. Uh, I, come on guys, I had to. Okay, so I'm gonna put some gameplay up instead of this, because we don't need to really read along with it, right? Okay, it's gonna be less exciting. This part's gonna be less exciting. We're just talking, right? Uh, greetings from Cobb to us. We once again- It's so long! Do I really have to read this? You guys can't read it yourselves. Okay, we once again apologize for the inconvenience caused to summoners regarding the abnormal game item payment. See, mine was better. Uh, we've received many reprimands and questions- That sounds kind of funny that they've been reprimanded. Uh, and this issue can have a, uh, reprimands and questions, and this issue can have a significant impact on trust in our game security. Aren't we past that by now? <laughs> we would like to give further explanations. First, we would like to explain the cause of the hacking issue, the response, and the process we went through until publishing the notice in detail. This issue, w this issue is caused by the exposure of a security vulnerability in the Hive support tool. Was it really, or was it just uh, people that work for Count to us? Uh, which is designed to facilitate the payment of game items in CS. Uh, it was confirmed that the items were given by exploiting the login authentication bypass vulnerability of the Hive support. Those are way too many big words. Uh, by not intervening the game server or database directly. After the detailed analysis, it's concluded the hacking was attempted with an unspecified IP through an external VPN and such, and game items were paid, exploiting an editor that can customize the support function tool. We would like to once again conf uh, confirm that the issue was caused by external hacking and not by our employee. Mm. I mean, I see what they're, I see what they're uh, talking about. This is based on like, cause if you contact support and like something's really wrong and they're like, here's some compensation. That's like, that's what they do. They, they do the compensation. So, so, so the hacker apparently um, went and pretended basically exploited what they were doing for compensation. Like what the, uh, like the QA department was, not the QA, the customer service de uh, department was doing for compensation um, and was, you know, who even does Transcendent Scrolls as compensation? Well, I mean, I guess he could uh, hack to whatever, but um, to make anything available. But yeah, uh, it's basically kind of exploiting the compensation that they that they do. Uh, if you guys have ever had like problems that you had to contact customer support from, they will like as a as a we apologize. They'll like try to offer you some stuff. So uh, when we acknowledge this issue of the ab abnormal payment, April fourth, uh, the Hive support tools login was restricted to the IP of our head office and overseas branches only. We restricted access from unspecified IPs. See, here's the thing, why was this only, um, why was this only a couple servers? I feel like this was probably more than just a couple servers. That just seems weird to me. Uh, it was only happening on three servers. Um, proceeded with the emergency security work to stop the editor function, block the abnormal item payment route that was the problem at the time. However, the uh, attacks of the hacker continued through various channels and we prioritized the inspection and reinforcement of all of overall security related aspects instead of making urgent announcement on this issue. Afterwards, the second authentication from the evil wizard, no, I'm sorry. Uh, second authentication system was uh, enhanced April 8th, one-time password authentication, which was previously required only with logging in to the Hive support tool from outside office was changed to be required for all logins, including the internet network. We also rechecked the entire approach route to the Hive support tool to block routes that could cause abnormal access. This is so boring. Mine was definitely better. Uh, we've been responding to, I mean, this, they weren't trying to make it entertaining, were they? Uh, I don't blame them. Um, we have been responding to virus hacking attempts while servicing summoners war to our users. The development team and the security team have worked together to monitor and respond to such, such abnormal approaches and to strengthen the security. However, please note we do not announce all hacking attempts cases. That's true. 
uh, announcing that there was hacking attempt may cause users to question security about the game. There's also risk of revealing the part we are defending and securing against through detailed notice. It, that also makes sense. Uh, since this issue was not a one-time hack that started out of simple curiosity and was a professional hacking that was systematically performed on other games of other companies, and I mentioned this too, is like this, these things are not just summoner's war. Like hacking, especially in mobile games where there's so much money exchanging hands, like this is there's a lot of them that get hacked. Uh, we made a separate notice that summoners may be affected by the issue. The notice was made later due to the delay in security-related inspections and full investigation progress. The first notice was... Why is this worded so well? But, like, for years we had, like, skill descriptions for monsters that were just, like, so wrong. We're like, that's not what it is. But this one is, like, the biggest, longest words, like, systematically and inspections, investigations, additional security enhancement. I'm like, oh, my God. Um... We were careful not to provide more details and notice. We sin sincerely apologize for intensifying the doubts about security issues that you may have felt. This was actually, like, Contour security was so much worse back in the day. Like, they've actually improved it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's not, like, the hacking used to be a bigger issue back then. But uh, yeah, after publishing the first notice, we once again investigated the entire item payment history in the game before and after the incident. On April 2nd, the items were first paid to the account that is presumed to be the hacker's account. And from April 3rd, the promotion of abnormal game item payment began. On April 4th, the users were, I mean, we're still not really talking too much on the game from all issue, are we? I don't think they're going to talk about that, are they? Um, before Summoner's Wars, the restriction was made on April 4th, which was before the Summoners started to acknowledge the abnormal payment issue. And we have confirmed once again that there are 18 accounts that receive game items through abnormal process. All detailed logs on it, but only on three servers. Nothing on the other servers. All right. All detailed logs in the game item payment are left for transparency in cust uh, customer support response and a separate department monitors the details and cross checks the history. Since this hacking was preceded using the CS tool, all related logs remain and the overall log of item payment, including this log, has been examined again and no additional accounts were found. The form of simply outputting an abnormal number of items by altering the game's client is a completely different issue from the server hacking. Fabricating Fabricated screenshots or videos have been controversial in the community channels from time to time. Please note that the game server with the actual data stored is secure and the data temporarily printed by tampering with the game client are not the actual data. Summoner's War has been struggle, uh, strengthening, <laughs> struggling. That was, sorry, that was just instinct. Uh, <laughs> so strengthening the security for a long time. And this is done not by not only the Summoner's War team, but also many other related departments. We will try to prevent the issues that may arise from hacking as our top priority. If, even if such issues occur, we will do our utmost to check the abnormal approaches through our monitoring system and respond to them as quickly as possible. We sincerely apologize to all Summoner's who may have felt uncertain about the game security due to the issue, we will always do our best to provide a stable service to all. Lastly, we apologize for the delay in our announcement, even when serious issues like this arise. We are fully aware of the importance of communication, but fail to communicate with our users. We start to write a notice after we confirm the cause and issue, decide on all measurements we will take, since it's important to give out the detailed information to users through a notice. Uh, for the measurement, there are times where technical review must be made, and such content had to be included for such case. I feel like I'm reading like a political i mean it kind of is a political uh statement right like a legal documentation political statement um how to be included for some cases we we go through several modifications and review to reduce errors in the content and nuances in addition after the notice is prepared it is translated into 15 different languages we try to publish the notice in all languages at the same time so all users can read and be aware of the ongoing issues simultaneously as explained we go through multiple processes before posting a notice and we are aware that it takes a long time to do so. If this ma if a major issue such as this occurs, we will first notify the users that we are looking into the matter and then proceed with further announcement by discussing the details. They still didn't talk about the game from all stuff, but yeah. There there we go. I mean, this is this is so political. This is so political. What did I include for the screen the screenshots? Did I include I think I'm going to do the the blade dancer, right? Anyway, um yeah, I mean, this is kind of what I expected, to be honest, from them. It's not anything... It it makes sense, like, what it actually was of the customer support tool. Because, again, like I said, like, customer support can actually give you things uh, in your account. So, like, if they're, again, if they, like, uh, incorrectly ban you, they could be like, Oh, here's crystals in a scroll or whatever. So, because uh, they were going to... I got wrongly banned uh, years ago. 
and they were gonna give me stuff, and I was like, no, nah, I don't want it. I more did it out of just spite. I was like, no, screw you. So that's typical bagel. Anyway, um, that's it for this one. I mean, again, they didn't really talk too much about the game from all stuff, uh, which is half the people are kind of, well, not half the people, people are half kind of pissed off about that thing, right? Even though it's something that happened a long time ago. But anyway, uh, that's it for this one. I'm going to go edit this video now, put some stuff in it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> not, not, can you even enjoy this? Uh, anyway, that's it for this one. I'll see you as always in the next one.